Hello and welcome to the Afternoon Club. I'm Barra Best and I'm here to tell you all about our weather. Why? Well, it's something we talk about every single day. It has a big impact on our lives. For example, it can help us decide what clothes to wear. Do we need a big coat because it's cold? A t-shirt to keep cool or sunglasses because it's so sunny. It can also help people like gardeners and farmers if we have a big dry spell. Do they need to add extra water to the plants, for example? And we may live in a small part of the world, but we have a lot of weather to talk about. Yes, we do get a lot of cloud and a good bit of rain in this part of the world, but that doesn't mean it's bad weather. We also at times get a good bit of sunshine to get out and enjoy. And from time to time, it's cold enough to get a little bit of snow. So we get to go out and build that snowman or have a snowball fight with our friends. But why is our weather the way it is? Well, one big reason is because of where we are in the world. We're a small island at the edge of the Atlantic Ocean and it plays a big part in our weather. It stops it from becoming too warm or too cold. So for example, we're nothing like Spain where hot summers are predictable or Russia where we can often expect bitterly cold winters. But that doesn't mean that we don't get our own extremes. Back in 2010, we had a bitterly cold winter. We saw temperatures falling as low as minus 19 degrees in Castlederg in County Tyrone. And some people even began to call it Castle Iceberg. On the other hand, our highest temperature recorded in Northern Ireland was just under 31 degrees, to be exact, 30.8 Celsius. And that's very warm for us. It doesn't come around very often, and that's why it's our highest recorded temperature so far. One of the most popular questions I'm asked is how do I know what the weather is going to be like? And there are a number of ways that I can do that and tell you what to expect. And one of them is that we get a number of what's called weather charts. And looking at these, I'm able to tell you if it's going to be raining, if it's going to be sunny or windy, cold or warm. And then we get all of that data, we put it all together and we create our graphics. And that's what you see at home when I'm telling you what the weather is going to be like. Another way of telling the weather is by a method known as now casting. And basically what that means is I can look at my computer and tell exactly what the weather is like in certain locations right now. So I could go to, for example, to Fermanagh and tell you that it's going to be 25 degrees. Or I can look at the north coast and tell you at the minute that it's just 13 degrees. And that way we can tell people who are heading out at the minute what the weather's going to be like in the next hour or so. If rain's heading that way, if they need an umbrella. And then we can bring that to you, our audience, on the radio, on the website, and also on TV. So once we have all the data brought together, we can then decide what kind of weather forecast we need to bring you. So for example, is it going to be very warm? Do we need to tell people, grab a t-shirt, get your sunglasses, get your sun cream, and enjoy fine weather? You may want even to get out to barbecue. Or we can look and maybe decide, oh, there is a lot of rain coming today. So we can let people know if you're heading out this morning, it might be dry, but do bring the umbrella and the coat with you because there is going to be some rain. Or we can tell people to prepare yourself because we have cold weather coming and that means we could get snow. We also have a very important role when it comes to weather and that's to tell you about weather warnings. And they can be issued for a number of things. We can get a warning about lots of rain, which could lead to flooding in some places, and we have seen some of that in recent years. We can also get weather warnings for wind, strong winds heading our way. And you may have noticed over the past number of years, the storms we have coming in from the Atlantic are being given names, and that's kind of to make you more aware of the kind of storms that are heading our way. So for example, we had Storm Dennis, Storm Brona, and others which did bring some destruction to parts of Ireland and the UK. And the weather warnings come in three different colours. We have yellow, which means more or less to be aware that there could be some problems. So if a weather warning for rain has been issued, it means that there could be flooding in some parts. So just to be aware that that could happen. Then we have a amber warning, which means to be extra aware, if you like, 
that we have an increased risk of seeing some disruption. So if an amber warning is issued for strong winds, there is a potential that, for example, we could see trees falling down or big waves around the coast. And our highest level of warning is a red warning. And it isn't that common, it's fairly rare, but it also means there's an increased risk of danger also to people's lives. So if a red warning is issued, do pay attention. You may need to protect yourself from some dangers because of our weather. Thankfully though, it doesn't happen that often. One of the best things about being a weather presenter is chatting to you guys at home because it's you that help us tell the weather forecast. And you may be wondering, well, how do we do that? Well, it's this, weather watchers. You always send us your photographs in of what the weather's like where you are. And the best part about that is we can show them off on our website and we can show them off on social media and more importantly, on the television with your name on them as well. And on top of that, we get you to get outdoors and enjoy some of our weather. Even if it's raining, some of the photographs that you send in can be quite beautiful. And it means too that you're helping us tell the weather story. Because if you send me a photograph in, for example, from County Fermanagh and it's raining, I can show that to our audience and tell them, you know what, it's been raining today and here's what it's been like in County Fermanagh. And equally, if you're along the County Antrim coast and it's sunny, I can then show that photograph to say, it might be raining in Fermanagh, but here in County Antrim, it's lovely and sunny. And you may not think it, it's a small amount of land, but we get some extreme weather differences from time to time. And that's what makes our weather forecasting so interesting in this part of the world. Another question I'm asked often is what is my favorite type of weather? We all have our own favorite. Some of us love the sunshine because you get to go outdoors and then have a barbecue or maybe in the paddling pool, that kind of thing. Some of us love wind because you like to see the leaves falling off the trees in autumn, which makes the ground rather colorful. My favorite weather though is snow. And there's one big reason I love snow, it's because it gets everyone excited, at least for a few days. Who doesn't love snow? Whenever we can get out and build a snowman, have a snowfall fight with our friends and that kind of thing. Unfortunately though for us, we're often not too prepared for the snow and that could lead to some disruption. So after a few days of lovely photographs and enjoying the snow, some of us want it to go quite quickly so that we can get life back to normal. But for sure, it's my favorite weather. I wish though that we could have more and I would love to be able to tell you that it's going to be a white Christmas. Hopefully it will be this year, fingers crossed. It's been great chatting to you today. I hope you have enjoyed learning a little bit more about our weather. I would love to see some of your weather reports. You can get in touch and here's how.